Gimpo International Airport Korean, Gimpogagjegonghang Kimp Oak Eoha, commonly known as Gimpo Airport IATA, GMP, formerly SEL, ICAO, RKSS formerly Kimpo International Airport, is located in the far western end of Seoul, some 15 km 9 miles west of the central district of Seoul. Gimpo was the main international airport for Seoul and South Korea before being replaced by Incheon International Airport in 2001. In 2015, 23,163,778 passengers used the airport, making it the third largest airport in Korea, as it has been surpassed by Jeju International Airport. The airport is located south of the Han River in western Seoul. The name, Gimpo, comes from the nearby city of Gimpo, of which the airport used to be a part. On 29 November 2003, scheduled services between Gimpo and Haneda Airport in Tokyo, Japan resumed. Services to Shanghai Hongqiao International Airport resumed on 28 October 2007. Services to Kansai International Airport in Osaka, Japan started on 26 October 2008. Services to Beijing Capital International Airport started on 1 July 2011. Services to Taipei Songshan Airport started on the 30th of April 2012. Topic: History. The airfield was originally constructed in 1935 to 1942 during the Japanese Imperial period as an Imperial Army base. The runways were built on a bed of rocks manually hauled by Korean laborers from Kaiwasan and Yongchan, several miles from the base. Then known as Kyo New Airfield in Japanese parlance, Kimpo was constructed with four runways to supplement the much smaller Kyo Airfield, Jingsheung Feixing Chang which was later known as Yeoido Airport. Korean War. Gimpo played a major role during the Korean War, and the USAF designated the airfield as Kimpo Air Base or K-14. North Korean forces attacked South Korea on the 25th of June 1950, starting the Korean War. During one of the first Korean People's Air Force (KPAF) attacks on the 25th of June, a military air transport service C-54 Skymaster was destroyed on the ground at Gimpo. On 27 June U.S. naval and air forces began evacuating 748 U.S. diplomats, military dependents, and civilians by air transport from Kimpo and Suwon Airfield. On the afternoon of 27 June five F-82 twin Mustangs of the 68th Fighter Squadron and 339th Fighter Squadron were escorting four C-54 Skymaster aircraft out of Kimpo when the C-54s were attacked by five KPAF Lavochkin LA-7 fighters. In the subsequent dogfights three LA-7s were shot down for the loss of no U.S. aircraft in the first air battle of the war. Later that day four F-80Cs of the 35th Fighter Bomber Squadron shot down four Ilyushin Il-10s for no losses over Gimpo in the USAF's first jet aircraft victory. Gimpo was captured by the KPA shortly after the capture of Seoul on 28 June 1950. On 29 June eight B-29s of the 19th Bomb Group bombed Gimpo and the Seoul Railyards. By July the KPAF were using the base for attacks on UN forces. On 10 July, seven Yak-7s were hidden at Gimpo and used in strikes against UN positions at Changju. The next day they surprised and damaged several F-80s in the area. On 15 July the U.S. launched an attack on Gimpo, destroying two or three of the seven Yak-7s there and damaging the runway. On 5 August 5, Air Force fighters strafed and bombed Gimpo, destroying nine aircraft and damaging nine others. Following the Incheon landings on 15 September 1950, the 2nd Battalion 5th Marines was ordered to seize Gimpo on 17 September. Gimpo was defended by a conglomeration of half-trained fighting men and service forces and by the morning of 18 September the Marines had secured the airfield. The airfield was in excellent shape as the North Koreans had not had time to do any major demolition. On 19 September, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers repaired the local railroad up to 8 miles 13 kilometers inland and 32 C-54 transport planes began flying in gasoline and ordnance. VMF-212 was one of the first units to operate from Gimpo before moving forward to Yanpo Airfield. 
On 25 September the 811th Engineer Aviation Battalion began repairing bomb damage on the 6,000 feet meters asphalt runway at Gimpo and covering it with Marston matting. On 6 October the USAF took control of Gimpo from the USMC, following the Chinese Third Phase Campaign and the defeat of UN forces at the 38th parallel. On 5 January 1951 General Ridgeway ordered the evacuation of Seoul and the withdrawal of UN forces to a new defensive line along the 37th parallel. Units based at Gimpo were withdrawn to the south and facilities were destroyed to prevent their use by Chinese and North Korean forces. UN forces resumed the offensive again in late January 1951 and launched Operation Thunderbolt on 25 January with the aim of pushing Chinese and North Korean forces back north of the Han River. By 10 February 1951, UN forces once again had control of Gimpo. USAF units based at Gimpo Kimpo included 4th Fighter Wing operating F-86s from 23 August 1951 to 1 October 1954, subordinate units included 334th Fighter Interceptor Squadron 335th Fighter Interceptor Squadron 336th Fighter Interceptor Squadron 8th Fighter Bomber Wing from 25 June to 23 August 1951 51st Fighter Interceptor Wing from 10 October 1950 to 10 December 1950, subordinate units included 16th Fighter Interceptor Squadron operating F-80s from of October 1950 to 3 January 1951 25th Fighter Interceptor Squadron operating F-80s from October 1950 to November 1951 67th Tactical Reconnaissance Group from the 20th of August 1951 to the 6th of December 1954. Subordinate units included 12th Tactical Reconnaissance Squadron operating RB26Bs, 15th Tactical Reconnaissance Squadron operating RF80s and RF86s, 45th Tactical Reconnaissance Squadron operating F51s. 68th Fighter Squadron operating F-82s from 30 November 1950 to March 1951 and from 27 June to 24 August 1951 80th Fighter Squadron operating P-51s from 27 October to 20 December 1950 Other UN units based at Gimpo Kimpo included No. 77 Squadron RAAF operating Gloucester Meteors from June 1951 on 21 September 1953 North Korean pilot No Kum Sok defected in his MiG-15 landing at Gimpo. <laughs> <laughs> International era In 1958, the airport was redesignated as the Gimpo International Airport of Seoul by a presidential decree, completely replacing the existing Yeouido Airport. Following the construction of Gimpo, Yeouido Airport was totally demolished. It soon became the main airport of Seoul and South Korea in general. In 1971, a new combined domestic and international terminal was opened. However, following the opening of Terminal 1 in 1977, the original terminal was converted to domestic flights only. Later, Terminal 2 was opened due to the Olympic Games. However, Gimpo began to take more flights than it is capable of handling. Since 1980, Gimpo met a lot of problems, due to its lack of space to expand. A major problem is that it has a curfew, which means arrivals and departures are strictly prohibited during the night. Due to these problems, the South Korean government decided to build a new airport. It was actually planned in Changju, 124 kilometers away from Seoul, but it was strongly opposed by Seoul and Jiangxi province citizens due to its inconvenience. It would be farther away than Viracopos Airport in Campinas, Brazil, which is approximately 80 kilometers away from the city of Sao Paulo. Finally, the new site was decided to be nearby Yangjiang Island, a part of Incheon. This was later known as Incheon International Airport. All international flights were moved to Incheon when it opened in 2001. Topic domestic era shuttle flights to Haneda Airport in Tokyo started in November 2003 on a charter basis, cutting 30 minutes or more of ground transportation at each end in an attempt to attract business travelers. 
This city -to -city route was followed by new routes to Hongqiao Airport in Shanghai starting in October 2007, Kansai Airport in Osaka starting in 2008, Beijing starting in July 2011, and Songshan Airport in Taipei starting in April 2012. Total international passenger numbers at Gimpo rose from under 1 million in 2005 to over 4 million by 2012. Korea airports announced an expansion and remodeling of the terminals in 2013, adding new gates and security checkpoints. In 2017, the Korean government announced that a new terminal would be built to meet growing domestic traffic. Gimpo currently has two runways, 3600 meters times 45 meters and 3200 meters times 60 meters, two passenger terminals and one cargo terminal. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Airlines and destinations. Topic Statistics Topic Top Carriers In 2016, the 10 carriers with the largest percentage of passengers flying into, out of, or through Gimpo International Airport are as follows. Topic Other facilities Korea Airports Corporation KAC has its headquarters on the airport property. The Aviation and Railway Accident Investigation Board ARAIB has its FDR CVR analysis and wreckage laboratory on the property of the airport. When the predecessor agency Korea Aviation Accident Investigation Board CABE existed, its CVR FDR and wreckage laboratory was located on the airport property. Ground transportation Rail On 23 March 2007 the AREX Airport Express Line started operations to Incheon International Airport, with an extension to Seoul Station which opened in December 2010. Seoul Subway Line 9 also links the airport to the Gangnam area. For many years, the airport was served by the Gimpo Line, a railway line that no longer exists. In the 1990s Seoul Subway Line 5 was extended to Gimpo. <laughs> Accidents and incidents On 19 November 1980, Korean Airlines Flight 015, a Boeing 747-200 landed short of the runway, ripping off all main landing gear, causing the aircraft to skid to a stop on the nose wheel and outer two engines starting a fire. Fifteen of the 226 total occupants were killed, including the first officer and captain. On 14 September 1986, a bomb blast occurred outside a terminal building, killing five people and wounding 36. The attack was blamed on North Korea as an attempt to disrupt the 1986 Asian Games starting six days later. See also List of the busiest airports in South Korea Transportation in South Korea